All right, hello, hello. Thrifty Art Thursday is on. I think this is episode, episode eight or nine. Uh, if you want to see the previous episodes and you're on Facebook, you can just go to my live tab and there will be all there or in my videos and you can find them on YouTube also. I'm streaming to both uh, YouTube and Facebook live right now. And so, um, um, yeah, so you can watch either one. Of course, and if you're watching one of them, if you're watching your replay, uh, hit the number two or just say, say replay and say hello. I would be so happy to hear from you. Okay, so uh, what I'm painting today, what I'm doing today is I have this new cooler bag from uh, HEB, my grocery store. And I decided that I wanted to spring it up a little bit, like add things to it. So I'm going to be adding a floral design, something in the lines of this one. Um, if you're on my page, you probably saw it already. I shared it with you guys. I can never hold things back. I'm like, I make something and I need to, I need to share it. It's not going to be the same exact one, but it's going to be very... Similar to this one, I'm going to be using regular acrylics mixed with uh, this textile here. Textile medium, I just kind of put some acrylics in here and then put some textile medium on top and I mix and then I paint. Uh, what it does is it allows your acrylic to get a little bit more pliable. Um, um, I will also be using uh, this what do you call this stencil i suppose something like that uh to help me make my circles because i want my circles here you don't have to do that if you just want to draw whatever flowers you want you know that's all fine i'm just showing you how i do this i'm going to be using my uh, white acrylics black and uh, gold and hi ginger yeah it is a stencil i'm just thinking that there should be a more technical term for something like this i don't know it is a stencil after all um uh, i might well there's a big chance that i will reach out for my golden high flow acrylics i'll just reach it right now and show you what i'm talking about so these are high flow um they're like inks and they have a lot of pigment in them and that makes it uh, much easier to work with where like in these there's not much black pigment like when it's all concentrated it's black but once i put uh, fabric fabric um medium on it no textile medium on it it's going to get washed out look a little bit. So chances are I will use that. And that's it. So I'm using a seamstress. I have seamstress chalk that I usually use uh, to sketch things out on fabric. If I don't have it pre-sketched pre or pre-made. Uh, it is helpful to pre-sketch because then you don't have to deal like when you have leaves overlap or flowers overlap. Uh, you don't have to figure that out. You can just paint once it's done okay so i'm gonna start and i'm gonna put my some of my circles in for my flowers and i want to make it very full so i am not gonna be shy about the sizes i use i'm gonna use the biggest sizes i can and i'm gonna put the biggest sizes in the middle and then the littler smaller things I'm going to add to the sides. This chalk will simply wash off. Like I can use, I will be able to use like a washcloth when it's all dry. Just grab a damp washcloth and um, you can just rub it off. Chalk won't stay. Okay. I'll work around the logo. Obviously it stays. I'm not going to do anything about that. Um, I probably want something big over here. 
for just with my attention grabbers flowers, the big ones. So um, when you do something like that, you want to have big, like super big, <laughs> medium, and then uh, small and tiny for fillers. And you want to make sure they are never on the same line. Like if I went from the center and I drew a line this way, my centers are not going to match. So um, that's the point here to just how you make it, how to make it um, cohesive, right? How to put the things in together. That's, I guess, how I do that. Okay, so I have my bigs. Now I'm going to go for my medium size over here. And um, you don't have to have a fancy stencil to do that, obviously. Uh, you can circle your cans, your... Um, yeah, that, that guy wants to be there. Like anything that's round, you can circle. Jars, glasses. I mean, I even have a medicine dispenser in my stash for a quick circle, if I need a quick circle. Um, but yeah, let me see. Yeah, I want some here. And when you go jump from size to size, to size you want to jump drastically. You want to see a big difference because on the fabric, it won't show uh, how big it is, like the difference between the sizes, right? So you want to kind of do a drastic change. And would you give me just one second? I forgot to plug in my phone. And we all know how this ends. If I if I forget to plug my phone. Okay. I think, oh, whoopsie daisy, hold on. No, don't do anything, okay. There. Okay, all good. So I'm just uh, doing the circles just to kind of tell myself where my, um, uh, where my flowers are gonna go. And I'm working on the smaller size right now. I think this still applies for thrifty art because we're using the grocery bag that we're going to be using later, hopefully, right? And uh, we're using supplies that we have at home. We're not buying any specific, like, special things. Okay. And maybe a few here on the bottom, like a smaller ones. Something like that. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, now I am pretty confident with my lines of four, for the petals. So I am not going to pre-draw them. You can always, you are always welcome to go back to that post that I have. Uh, with like I have a few with different florals and stuff oh oh <laughs> yes and let me click on that real quick um, I'm gonna grab my Pinterest link to my doodle board so if you're looking for some uh, interesting ideas you might find something there Hmm. Here, I'll just throw it in here. There we go. Okay. All right. So my next step would be to... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, y'all. Okay. Stems. I'm going to add my stems so I can see how this all fills in. This one is kind of this way or that way. Let's make it, let's make it this way and it will get stuck behind the um, handle, the bag handle. 
This goes here and here. This guy can just sit here. Here's another one, another one, and another one. This one we can go give him a little bit of a curve just to add some movement to what we're doing. Okay, this buddy, this is going to be a problem, but I will work with that. Just kind of try and make it as flat as you can because you already you're working with the bag. It's kind of a and there we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Say hello if you're here. And um, yeah. Okay. So I am thinking. So I have two and two. I'm just going to. What am I going to do with this? I'm going to do two, what are they called? Cone, cone flowers, right? So I'm just going to kind of give myself an idea of what goes where. Something like that. So that's one cone flower. And yeah, I'm going to do my um poppy right here so here's one petal here's the other petal and then we have another petal and then the last one goes over this is why it's helpful to have circles okay um i'm gonna put a cone flower on here and that's gonna be a little bit at an angle Oh, it doesn't like that because look, this is the center, the center. So I have to center it with the center and then the petals will kind of work to, to, to uh, work for that circle like that. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of throwing flowers on. Okay, and then here's another kind of poppy, broken, um, and another, and then there's going to be another one. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just kind of thinking of, okay, so that's going to be the poppy. Poppy leaves are kind of broken and um, edgy. So I'm just going to go and do it like that. See there. That's why, that's why I needed to have this done to see that this flower is going to be in the front of that leaf. So I didn't want to paint the whole flower to see that, oh, I can't put anything in front of this guy. Right. And then this guy is going to have leaves. Um, yeah, but these guys, I thought I will just add like little doodly leaves, so they're not interfering with anything. But this one might again, because it has pretty big, yeah, and it will mess with that a little bit. It has pretty big leaves here, and so here we go. And so with this one, I want this one to be in front of this flower. So I will erase that little, if I can dig a baby wipe out, it would be golden. They're on the very, very bottom right now. Okay, I gotta open the whole box and just get it out there. So I want this flower, this one, to be behind the poppy. So I just, see, that helps, that helps a lot. I remove that, and here's another. And this one will just sit behind this little guy, and I'll figure out the leaves for the rest of them. I think this is good, okay.
Yeah, this is good. This looks good. Yeah, okay. So I have this idea. I don't know how it's going to work. But we shall see. I want to do something in the lines of like modern, uh, modern florals that are so super popular right now. But, um, oh, again, again, like this paint always does this to me, see? Always like this bottle. I don't know why I keep using it. <laughs> always happens. Oh, guys, um, a little tip or trick, trick or whatever. If you notice that you have acrylics spilled on your clothes and your clothes haven't gotten through the washer and dryer yet, because once it's done that, that's it. You're done. <laughs> but if, um, if it's just on your clothes and you haven't washed and dried it yet, uh, get some uh, full strength acetone. Uh, on the cotton swab and just rub, 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 I saved my pair of jeans like that. I, I had a blob of white and it worked. So, you know what? I think that's not enough of a container. I'm gonna go and grab an egg carton and hope it doesn't leak and I just noticed who pokes holes in the egg carton like what kind of person does that Ugh, never mind what am I gonna do what am I gonna do I'm gonna do are not clean oh well I'm just gonna grab some gonna grab the brush and I'm gonna move some out because once I I'm pretty sure I probably will use all of this. Okay. Another baby wipe. I do have water for rinsing here. So, oh, yeah. I'm not sure if I like this. I got this fancy bucket, which I was so excited over, and I'm not sure I like it. Okay. Fabric. So I just eyeball it. I just pour it in and call it good. Um, the recommended ratio is one to one. Okay, but who has time to measure these things? And oh my gosh, measuring thick acrylic paint? Not my case of crazy. I mean, I can do a lot of crazy, right? Everybody knows all of that, but not that kind of crazy. So I'm just mixing my white. Okay, gonna clean up this brush and I'm kind of sort of gonna grab the towel. <sighs> kind of sort of, not kind of sort of. Whoa. I'm grabbing it for real. You probably can just do it with a paint marker if you wanted to. And so I'm just gonna. Start at the top and gonna paint my first petal. My goal being is to create a whimsical and very gentle design. The fabric is going to just gobble up your paint, so you will have to go back and do it again. Fabric is very thirsty for your paint. I am not super concerned 
So I didn't do the, I didn't line it up on the bottom underneath the spare fabric because it's the bag and it's already lined. So nothing's gonna get through this. I am just using a tiny, tiny filbert brush. And it seems to be doing a good job. Tiny filbert brush, maybe try a round brush. A round brush would be good too. I would probably try like a size four for this. Like you do not want to get anything bigger than that. You do not want too thick lines. You just want, you just want lines. So I'm just using light and I'm pretty much just applying the paint to the lines. Um, second coating as I go. So I just do one coat and then I come back right away because I do not want to finish the whole thing and then come back. Okay. And I have to refill my brush frequently because as I just told you guys, fabric is, it's thirsty. It's going to take seep in some paints. I hope you can see what I'm doing, like when I'm leaning forward. Would you paint your grocery bag? I know. Um, it looks like I got into fabric painting a little bit recently. So I did uh, show you guys how to paint a pillow cover, a throw pillow cover. And I did, and we did the kitchen towel. It's all on Facebook Lives and it's all on YouTube channel. You can find it all there. And so now I'm painting a grocery bag. And then I'm thinking next time I'll probably do a garden flag. Okay. So that is good. Okay, I'm going to work on this one. And this one is going to be like a little dandelion. So I need to figure out my positioning because it's right on the zipper. It's not a good spot. So I'm going to mark my center off center. I do not want it directly in the center. And then I'm going to start adding curved. They're not radiuses because they don't come out of the center. But you know what I'm talking about, right? The lines. If you like the look of chalk, you might want to just leave it and not do, like not come back and add more paint to this. Because look, as it dries, it looks exactly like chalk. <laughs> so, you know, that could be something interesting to consider if that's something that you like. So, 
So yeah, I'm just adding paint to the white lines here. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to add more lines to it. So I'm going to move down to my leaf first because I know it's there because I did my, I did my sketch, right? It's super helpful to have a sketch like that done. All right, going into the leaves. I think I'm ready to try my round brush. <laughs> Let me, let me get that one done and rinsed. Okay, let's try this. I think this would be good. That is a number four. Just kind of fill it up with paint and see maybe because round brushes usually hold a little bit more paint. Mm, no, really no difference, I must tell you. Maybe if my paint was a little bit thinner. But the thing is, I do not want to make it thinner because if you make it thinner, then it won't. It will, uh, it will, but uh, then it will take so many more coats to go back to fix your lines where it didn't take, or well, I mean, it takes where it, you know, got seeped into the fabric more than the other ones, like here. See. Just needs more. Well, paint as it's drying, it's showing that, okay. Not much paint came here. Not much paint you put in here. Mostly the, the fabric um, medium. Okay. This is truly an exercise of patience. If you were ever looking into calligraphy and you thought that that was too complicated and, um, you know, for whatever reason, you talked yourself out of it, I strongly recommend to try and uh, do florals with a paintbrush. It is very, it is very su super satisfying. Okay. And, and you learn to control the brush. It teaches you to control the brush. And then your hand will be ready for your calligraphy adventures. If you know, if you were thinking about that. That's our friendly neighbor. Okay. So, there we go.
So yeah, you pretty much can paint acrylics on everything. And um, imagine like if you looked around your house, what, what, what would you paint on? Okay, here comes the other leaf. What is it? It sounds good. No, you may not have your screen time. You guys are, no, you're gonna eat all my Wi Fi and then I'm gonna lose my camera. No, we can't do that. You guys need to wait for me to finish, okay? So. Most of the times we're good, but sometimes when all four of us are trying to, to get something done, and I am I'm pulling on two cameras right now, two devices, and if they like, if I'm working on two cameras and my husband is working, and it has work. He also needs some sort of a bandwidth. And then they turn on their video game. It kind of gets complicated. Oh my gosh, here we go. Slamming doors. So I'm simply going over this. I'm now thinking, ooh, what if, like, what if you had a, a bleach gel and definitely, definitely do it outside. But this can be done with that, and you can just bleach out your designs. Wouldn't that be cool? I don't know how this fabric would bleach, though. I don't know. I haven't tried it, so... Okay, so this little dude is the same as that little dude. So the the thing is the repetition. Repetition is key when you try to paint something like this because there is no particular composition, right? Like there's no center. There's things that are interesting. There's things that make your eye, your eye wonder from one place to another, but this is not what we would consider a composition. Well, I mean, people can argue with that, I guess. Also, please don't ever take my word as a any given truth because I am a self-taught and uh, wh whatever I picked up, I share. <laughs> and sometimes I pick something up that's not quite academically correct, but it works for me. So, <sighs> yeah, don't go to your art professor and tell them that Luban Facebook told you that. That might not go so well. They make me think of mints, you know? So this one on top is a bit blobby. There's a lot of paint that they put in the center. So I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit. So it's drying a little bit better.
Okay, gonna go back to this top flower and I'm gonna add a little bit more wispies to it now that it's it's gotten a little bit of dry area. And as you see, I started in my far left corner with this because as I'm, it's pretty big and I have to keep it on the table. So like as my arm goes down, I am not smudging anything. Okay, so this is another reason you want to pre-sketch or pre or something. Like so you know exactly where you're painting and what you're painting. Just to kind of and I also think that it takes the, the stress off because now you can just enjoy your process and not worry about what goes where and what you're gonna do with this. So I do pre-sketch um the big and the medium elements. But then the elements that are tiny, I just add them in as I go. Okay. All right, let's add a little bit more wisps to this. And so long as you keep the same curve every time. Should be fine. So I'm not rinsing my brush every time. I'm just cleaning it with a paper towel because it gets gunky. And going down for the stem. And the leaves. I'm starting to wonder if maybe it would be a good idea to uh, pre-moisten the bag a little bit. But then I'm afraid that the paint will start seeping through the fibers of the bag. And that's something that I really, I would really like to avoid that. So I'm not going to experiment with that today. Okay, moving to the center. And then by the time I, the center will be dry and I'll be able to put my art. You know what, wait. Let's finish this big poppy while we can, right? So wherever, wherever the petals meet, we wanna give them a little bit of an oomph. Like put a little bit more on there. Just kind of makes it pop, it gives it the dimension that we seek. It's that, I would say it's shade, it's shaded in there, but it might be a little bit confusing because we're using white. <laughs> So you're like, okay, Luba, if it's shade, why are you making it white? Well, because we make everything in white here. Okay. So see how it goes? Just a little bit. Doesn't need much. Here and there. There we go. Okay. Okay. I'm going to jump the gun and I'm going to add a little bit more of textile medium because I feel like this is getting too thick. We'll see if it was a bad idea, I'll let you know, and then you'll know not to do that. Right? Uh, 
it's just when the pain gets so heavy that it's real hard to move it. Let's see. Better. Now we're going to have to wait and see how it dries, right? If we still have all the pigment in here. That's kind of a pickle. So I did trace the sleeve before, I don't know if you remember or not, and it's rather, it's rather pale. It looks like it's been done in chalk. And if I were going for this effect, I wouldn't have any problem with it, but this is not exactly the look that I want. I anticipate that this bag will take a couple of hours of work, if not more. Because good things take time. Okay. All right. So let's add a little bit of Beans to the petal. Now this one, as we're adding these, we want to drag the brush super light. And we just want um, an idea that they're there. Don't need much of, and so that's perfect the way it's been drying. It's perfect for us. And from the top. There, okay. So this one's good. Let's move on to the... Alice says, I have lots of textile paints I got from the Quilt Festival. This is a great project to use them on. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have textile paints? Yo, hoo -hoo. that would be fun. That would be so much fun. Okay, moving on. So, ta da. And oh my gosh, could this be done like with a stencil? Could I use some sort of a stencil and just go dab, dab, dab and be done? Of course I could have, but what's fun in that? I don't mind stencils, I use them, you know, for different things, but I'm thinking I'm weird, like I'm thinking, well, if somebody asked me, right, how I got this bag, I don't want to say them, oh, it's just some stencil, right? I want to say them, I painted it all by myself. <laughs> I'm weird. So I adjusted the petal a little bit. I don't know if you noticed, because I want them a little bit more curvy. 
as they spill out of the flower. Something like that. So I started something new on Facebook. I started it today. It's called Doodles of Gratitude. Or maybe I'll call them Grateful Doodles. I don't know. What do you like better? Do you like Doodles of Gratitude or do you like Grateful Doodles? So it's a it's an art journal. It's like a doodle journal gratitude journal that I'd be working on in the morning and I will be going live and showing simple elements to your doodling because I hear that they can they get real um what's the word opening right like if you would yeah, I just showed you the Pinterest board in the comments. So if you would try and like follow all of that, it's like, wait a second, this is a framed, framed piece of art. That's not a doodle. So I just wanted to, um, to have a special time and place for everybody to literally doodle like we will just do little elements and we'll talk about gratitude and um i'll be reflecting in my journal and everybody's welcome to reflect in theirs okay so i have about 10 minutes left on this um for this I try to be very um I'm trying to to save your time also don't feel like don't feel caught hostage right to my life so I'm just gonna continue uh you know what yeah I'm just gonna continue I think I'll have enough time to do this one dandelion and then I'll paint offline and I'll share my finished product so here's a fair warning to you guys um, I may end up using paint markers I think I put it in the description I don't know just yet if if there would be a need for that and what else I might not use the um, the black and the gold. I don't know. I kind of like what I'm seeing right now. I feel like after I'm done shading and highlighting and whatnot. Um, I feel like there's going to be plenty going on because red is very bright on its own. And, you probably don't want to, you know, do anything else with that. But yeah. Oh, look, I really like how this one turned out. Um, see how the inner, oh, oh, camera, camera, what am I doing? 
going the wrong way. Come on, where's my camera? Here. Okay. Yeah. See how they came out? Yeah. Like two tone. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I might go back and add some white to them. I might leave them alone. I don't know. I want them to be very visible and they're not. But yeah. Okay, I can decide. I cannot decide. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go back here. It's dry, so I'm gonna go back and add some some white paint on things that need to get more white. I like the stem, and the leaves. There. Yeah, you know, project is um, switch to round brush, definitely. Don't even start, but start with the round brush. So after all, like I'm seeing this going. All righty, for now, so I'm going to keep working on, on this one and we'll see where it takes me. It looks cool in the camera. I like it. I always look through the camera at things. Um, yeah, don't be strangers. Check out, check out what's going on. Check out the Grateful Doodles. They are fun and they are not hard at all, and it's just a 15 minutes thing that you can do. Oh, don't forget to join me for Saturday Paint Night Live. We're painting tulips. Okay, I will see you next time then. Bye-bye.